Hey guys, Frank Pimp here. I wanted to do a quick review of a recent game I've played and completed, Ben and Ed. Really, really fun title. Uh, without going into too much and giving too much away, it's a single player 3D platformer adventure type game. You basically see yourself as an undead zombie, um, you go through these levels, you're fighting to get towards a friend that you've recently been separated from, so you'll progress through and play the game uh, in unique sort of varying ways which is really funny rip your head off and throw it through a hole in the wall why not so the game was released recently on December 8th 2015 by a studio called Sluggerfly it's a greenlit uh, steam game so it's really cool to see something that started as an indie sort of developed game was uh, voted in by the community and has gone on to become quite a neat polished, uh, well-finished title, which is something that I'm finding sort of lacking, even from the bigger name studios at the moment. The controls are really nice and easy to use, um, which would be really good, actually, I was thinking while I was playing, if you were new to computers and you were not used to moving around in a 3D space, this could, this could be a really good title for you because you can learn about moving around and uh, have fun while doing it. Now, also, I wasn't able to find much more about Sluggerfly uh, because I thought, this is really good, can I find more? So if you're thinking that as well and you've played it, unfortunately I couldn't find anything. If you have, please leave a comment, it'd be great. I'd like to find out uh, a bit more about these guys. They have chosen to put hidden penises around in their maps, so... You know, no judgement. Whatever you want to do. You've gone to the effort to make a fantastic game. You think, why not hide some dicks? Whatever. Who am I to judge? So in total, you get about eight hours of casual gameplay out of it. At the end, it unlocks some completely new levels that sort of have high score challenges. The levels themselves have collectibles and sort of time challenges and you got to get perfect runs and things like that. So you can get replay out of it. Uh, it's $10 Australian, so it's not a big ask either. It's a very reasonable price. I think you guys should get it. It was very fun and I give it, let's say, 350 coffee pods out of 500. A fantastic game. I would have rated it higher. However, it is just a small fun game. Therefore, I think what it does, it does well. Uh, however, you know, there's bigger titles with a lot more budget and storyline in depth. But for what it is, it's a fantastic game. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of it. Happy fragging.